doing business. So today I'm going to try, I'm going to be programming these two radios, which you can see this one is, I know my quality isn't that great. They have a Revitus and they have a Qshang. So the Revitus is RA79 and the Qshang is a UV-K5. They're similar radios, same battery. They come with an antenna. I got them around December they've been pretty good they do just about everything they have an, a site called um, I think it's UV mods if you go to UV mods you can actually upgrade custom firmware even change your boot logo I'm just going to do something simple so I figured I'd show you what I was going to do in chirp so if you wanted to follow along you can it comes with a programming cable you are going to need a programming cable the programming cable is going to be on this side right here they got the usual two dots. I have been successful programming it using a Veo Fang cable, but um, I'm going to go ahead and add some channels in here and, um, and maybe perhaps I have to do a DCS for those that don't know about privacy tunes, uh, CTCSS and, um, and DCS are two different things. I'm going to be doing both of those in this video, kind of show you kind of how to enter them in. And maybe some other stuff along the way. I just did this out the uh, last minute kind of thing. So, what the first thing you're going to do is you want to uh, go ahead and insert your cable and make sure it's snug inside there. I'm going to put it in that little outlet there and push as hard as you can in the directions that, and you know, you're going to have your radio on in the directions they say to push it really, really hard in there. Make sure it's in there. Let me see if I can get the screen going. Alright, so you will open up Chirp. Let's see. X out of that. So here's my Chirp. If I can get it over to the screen. Make it big for you. I have a bunch of channels in here. I'm going to save this. First thing you want to do is after you plug it in, you're going to download from the radio. See, either one will work on here, the RA79, or you can go with the Qshang, but you got to have the correct COM port, and in order to check this out, you got to go to the Device Manager and make sure you're on the right COM port. So just hit OK, and it's going to populate up the same screen that I'm showing you right now. And there you go. This is everything in here, and what I'm going to do is I need to clear... Uh, uh, just stop just stop I have a bunch of them I gotta put it in here I think you can hit control if you click this it'll highlight everything on the side there's a thousand different ways to skin a cat this is how it'll even do CB channels on here like it does uh, AM and FM it's got a bunch of features on there and it's a, for 25 to 30 bucks I mean you can't go wrong with it these radios are fun and now, you know, you got an AMCB, you're not going to get that far broadcasting, obviously. See, insert, see, delete, and shift all. 20 members and shift all up. There you go. So I'm keeping these here. So one of the repeater channels we're going to enter in is going to be a repeater which is going to be uh if you don't know um gmrs has two different frequencies all right so when you have a 462 that's going to be the frequency that you receive on okay so it goes up by what they call plus 5000 so that means that when you press that button it's going to turn into a 467 in gmrs so you're listening at all times which is this is that first thing it's asking you is what do you want me to listen on so 462 is the uh frequency and let me see what this is exactly 575 so the input frequency is 575 and you can put a name here. This is what's going to show up on your actual faceplate. So this would be my repeater because it's my repeater. All right, so here's where it gets tricky. So if they say they have a tone, you can go here and enter it here. 
down here, I'm going to explain a couple things to you. If they say they have CTCSS, or like they'll give you a PL, about 75%, I have my uh, radio going on GMRS Live right now. So if they say they got CTCSS, or they have a PL tone, it's usually about 90% of the time going to be this right here. Tone. Now, these numbers see like 141.3. You can enter the tone in for receive and, and transmit, but some of these Chinese radios and or Chirp has made it easy by going to what's called TSQL, which means that if you know both these numbers, the receive and transmit frequencies are going to be the same, like this 141.3. If we know both of these are going to be 141.3, that means that you can do TSQL. It'll just do both of them. So the one we're entering right now is what's called digital tone, DTCS. Data controls, scratch, I can't even remember. But it, right here is going to be the number that you got to put in. So on this one, it's going to be two, the frequency is going to be 279. 271, I'm sorry, 271. Whereas when you got, you see a number like this, like 141.3 or anything like that, you know that you're going to have a, uh, PL or a CTCSS, and like I said, you could drop that down and do TSQL. But this one's going to be different. That's why I decided to go ahead and do this. Now this here, I don't know what that does, but let's not play with that. So what you're going to do is, right here, D, D, S, receive, transmit, So if you get tone to tone, okay, that's what it's asking you. Okay, so right here, since we're using DC CTS, we're going to use this here. And it says choose your transmit, because remember this one here is what we're receiving on. So if we're going to go to 5000, we're going to go to the same tone on DCS, which is 271. So now that's in there. Duplex. Now here's where it gets hairy, but not really if you're doing GMRS. So if you want a plus, so when you press this button, it's right now it's not doing anything. It's listening on 462.575, okay? So when you press that button, you want it to go up. If it's GMRS, if you're following the FCC rules, it's always going to be the plus because we want it to read 467, which is 5,000 above. And it even asks us right after we enter that. Enter offset. We want this to be 5,000. FM. Now, the power right here, you want to put that on high. Okay. Um, this is if you don't know what you want this to be on and you're unsure 25 because if you put it on 12.5 that's what they call narrow band and you're on a 25 kilohertz frequency you're gonna hear you you're gonna hear people gonna hear you transmitting and dropping out when you're in the middle of transmitting so you don't want to always go with this so if you don't know go with 25 kilohertz always go with 25 kilohertz if you don't know Okay, you don't want narrow. Like here they probably got, yeah, narrow FM. We don't want AM. I don't know what this is. So we want to keep it FM, but keep this at 25. See, all these should be 25. That's what they call wideband. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right. So now this is how you do a DCS tone. Now we're going to do one. I'm doing a legitimate one here, so I'm going to actually enter it in. So we are going to do... 
We're going to do this one in a pump. I'm going to enter in the repeater name. You got to be mindful of, oh, well, actually, you need the frequency first. So we know it's GMRS 462.625. And this is the one you want to follow because most of the time, you can name this whatever you want. This is the previous one I did. I'm going to put, I'll put something like that. This guy broke. Pete. You only got so many characters. So this one here is located in Lacombe. It's a lot easier to look at your thing and say, oh, I know where I'm at instead of trying to look at frequencies. It's a lot easier when you got this in here. So this one here is going to have the PL. And it's going to be on both sides. And it's going to be the same one. So we're going to go to TSQL. Because that is going to enter in the frequency for both sides. Technically, I could change this right here. TSQL. See how I did that and move that over? Which I wish I wouldn't have done that before I wrote the number down. I can figure it out. So 141.3. And that's our wonderful rain. So now I can drop this down to 141.3. This one's 210.7. Two ten point seven one forty one point three. All right, so for two QSL, let's go back to this real quick. So here's the repeater we're putting in. So we have the frequency we put in, we put a name in. This means that the PL, if there's the exact same PL, which this one is. This one is going to be 162.2. Right there. Now that's taken care of. So now we need to go to here. I want to go plus again because it's GMRS. It's kind of a giveaway. Go to 5. Because we're going up 5. When we press that key, we want to go from 462.625 to 467.625. 0.625. So if you subtract 5 or add um, 5 to 2, you get 7. So here we add 5. And look, it's already it's going to add that right on in there. And once again, I'll put these on 25. Power. I'll make sure that's on high. And we'll do one more just for the head. And do one more in here, which is going to be CCC. Oh, I keep going in to put a name in first. 462.6000. So if GMRS, if they're following the law, port 97, or FCC code, this number should always be the lower number on a GMRS repeater. You should always be putting in a 462. You only have so many channels. If you're unsure, you can put that in. So this one we're going to call CCC 600. Once again, we have the same exact scrouch. So TSQL. And this one is going to be 114.8, which is what they call the travel of PL. Which This one, if you don't know, and you have to take a shot on a PL, this was nationally... I forgot I was reading a story about it, but this was chosen a few years back to be the actual PL for um, the United States. It was something that passed in some kind of guidelines. But if you don't know, usually they call this a travel because this is the one they usually leave it on. And once again, let's see this up here now I'm looking at this I'll leave it like that all right so 114.8 I don't know why we play with that so 
I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna go to all my clip and all my stuff. All right, here's the line. I'm looking up at my top monitor to show you all this. So, um, we're gonna come here to plus. Just want to go up plus. And once again, this box is gonna open up. I'm gonna go five. Okay. I'm gonna put our spacing on 25. I always say 25 and wide. That's a good phrase. High. Relook at everything, make sure everything's all right. We still need to fix this one. As a matter of fact, I am gonna go look real quick and I'm gonna come right back and I'm gonna make sure this is right. Okay, it's going to be 156.7. 156.7. They got flooding in Texas right now. So we know it's FM. This is a private um, frequency here. So we got that there. Right there. And what we're going to do when we're done now, we're going to simply always save. Save as, save require, I usually save just the date. You can never save enough times. And you're gonna go to the radio and upload it to radio. Hit okay. It's gonna tell you all this stuff. And it will 